Hey guys, welcome to another artful video. In today's video, we're going to review Crafters Square Tempera Paint from Family Dollar. Basically another cheap art supply video. I got the basic primary colors. Well, I tried with what little selection that they had, plus black and white. I also picked up some art boards as well. I accidentally placed them upside down. Let me just adjust the video for you. Here you go. I used some acrylic sketch pads to do the swatching. If you're wondering, this acrylic pad is from Arson Craftman, I believe. I do have bad memories, so I may be wrong. I literally had no idea what to use when it came to these tempera paints. So I use an acrylic board because I know I can handle a lot of paint. First things first, I have never used tempera paint before. It is apparently a fast drying medium and is water soluble. I guess so if children get their hands on them, it won't stain up the room or something. Well, I can't avoid a mess when it comes to painting. We all artists know that we're pretty much messy when it comes to painting. The tube does come with a decent amount of paint, so there's a lot of paint to play with. When putting the paint on my palette pad, the consistency between each color varied. The blue was a little liquidy, so it wasn't that bad. The yellow, black, and white were normal consistencies from what I've seen, but then the pink was extra liquidy. It would run off the palette if I turned it, so which is kind of weird to me. i never seen it so runny, unless it was like watercolor where you put a lot of water just to get like the pigment going. Now, when it came down to swatching them, oh boy, these were transparent and goopy. It was like trying to paint with gel, eggs, or even boogers that I had in my mind. That's the thing I couldn't envision. It's just like colored boogers. <laughs> it was very weird. I was only used to watercolor being so transparent, so I was kind of scared that the work was going to be patchy, especially with all this goopiness just piling up every time I tried to like paint. During the doodles, I did figure out that just creating a piece where it was all colorful would work. I was going to go for something more monochrome, but then I saw those beautiful illustrations that had multiple colors. I'm not sure what this method or style is called, but it's sort of like this fantasy slash art illustration straight from like the imagination where they use a bunch of colors and don't really stick to like realism, I guess you can say. It's just bright, vibrant, and very colorful. So like, let's say like they give the person like blue shading for the skin or like pink shading for the hair. While looking at it now, I have a feeling it's something to do with that thermal art thing that was going around where it shows different colors depending on the temperature. My version is kind of a mix of pastel art and thermal art since the paints are very transparent so it gives that pastel view when over a white board it's the best way i can describe it so i guess i'm going to call it a pastel thermal art piece Now, when putting these paints on the artboard, it actually worked nicely. Better than I expected, to be honest. Since the paint could seep into the texture and not really pile up, so it won't make the, like, the artwork look patchy. I could achieve transparent flat colors with that, so it was easier to blend. I wanted the white to be the main base since I couldn't create proper skin tones. I do regret using graphite pencils on a board since it would not erase at all. The graphite seeped into the texture and wouldn't budge no matter how hard I pushed to erase. Plus the white paint was too transparent to cover up anything so let's just pretend that you don't see the sketch underneath. <laughs> 
Overall, this was fun, but I would not use these paints again. I'd rather use watercolor if I wanted something water soluble and transparent. The paint was too goopy, like painting with boogers, <laughs> and weird for me. I guess if you want to do like a fun project, I guess with your kids or something like that, that's the only feeling I could get you can use it with. Maybe there is a professional that uses tempera paint, but I've never seen it before because I live under a rock. <laughs> Other than that, I hope you enjoyed me trying out these new paints and hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye!